fundamentally, exercise does not cause osteoarthritis. What we do know is that there are certain sports that increase the, the potential for osteoarthritis, and they actually tend to be the high impact team type sport. So in rugby, in football, we see a greater prevalence in retired athletes of osteoarthritis. Interestingly enough, those areas that we think may be causing osteoarthritis, like running for example, actually linear endurance events, running, swimming, cycling, are very protective for the joint. And we see very little osteoarthritis in people who undertake those type of exercises. There are a number of agencies which recommend uh, how much exercise we should undertake usually on a weekly basis, and it's around 150 minutes of exercise each week. And most agencies, the World Health Organization for example, suggest that that should be in packages of 30 minutes of exercise. So it's five days a week of 30 minutes of moderate intensive physical activity. Now that's really a guideline. For me actually, the most important thing is that people just simply become more active. So really what you should be trying to do is become more active than you currently are, any increase in activity has got to be seen as a positive. Physiotherapy and joint care is absolutely crucial. They go hand in hand. And we know that as we move along the continuum of exercise up to the elite level, where athletes are pushing their bodies to the absolute limit, that then physiotherapy becomes a crucial element in this team of supporters that envelop athletes to ensure that not only they perform to their greatest ability, but they do that in a healthy environment. The vast majority of research in osteoarthritis and sport is actually focused on what we call the epidemiology. In other words, trying to identify where, where osteoarthritis occurs the most in what type of sport. And it tends to point towards team sports, things like rugby and football. And we're not entirely sure why that is and why one individual player may be more susceptible than another. But certainly what we do know is, and we understand that it is about damage to the joint. Uh, in those type of, of activities which has the potential to lead to future problems with osteoarthritis. So what's key around that is trying to reduce injury in the first place, in other words reduce the damage to the joint, but then equally make sure that if you do damage the joint that you get the correct physiotherapy, you get the correct therapy in order to return you to play not only as rapidly as possible but as safely as possible.